Rebuild is happening in Fort McMurray. Hundreds of houses are going up in neighborhoods gutted by fire. About 640 permits have been issued so far. And that's about a third of the structures destroyed one year ago. The first board I cut was 37 and 7 sixteenths. I cut it 37 and a half. Steve Menard is rebuilding his own home. He's been at it since November, working day and night to bring back what he lost in the fire. Steve has never built a house before, but he says most days anyways, all this sawing and hammering is helping him look forward to what he'll have and not what he's lost. I needed to heal and I didn't know how to go about that and I just figured that building the home would definitely keep me preoccupied. As Steve looks forward to moving into his new home on July 1st, many of his neighbours are still struggling. Some are selling their lots, others aren't sure what they'll do next, and that makes today especially hard. As the year anniversary of the, of the Fort Mac fire uh, comes along, um, uh, that's a time for, for residents here to know there might be some who are still struggling inside and still need to be embraced and cared for during this time. We know that there are those in the community that haven't reached out yet, uh, that may be struggling. In some cases, they might be trying to do it on their own. Um, so we're really looking to get the message out that if you know people have suffered that loss, to come forward to talk to us. Officials with the Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo expect a busy construction season with more and more homes being built in Abasan, Beacon Hill and Waterways. As of the beginning of April, 33 families have moved into their newly rebuilt homes and being safe, resilient together, Mayor Melissa Blake says that number will grow. Safety is at the forefront as we go through our construction activities. We look at uh, that resilience. The economy is still in a, a difficult state. And the people here have always been uh, persistent enough to overcome whatever challenges come our way. The wildfire was extreme, but their character hasn't deviated. Forward to our first sleepover with the grandkids. That's, that's what I'm super pumped about. Back at the Menard house, Steve is busy putting the finishing touches on the house that Steve built. And now that he's got this one under his belt, he hopes to help his neighbours as they rebuild their lives.